In this example, we're given uh, the profit function uh, for a particular item. Uh, in this case, that item is uh, Perry's uh, Premium uh, Chewing Tobacco. Um, and we're asked to determine uh, what the break-even uh, points are for uh, the profit. So in, in this profit function, um, X represents uh, the daily sales uh, in hundreds of pounds for uh, Perry's uh, Chewing Tobacco. And the output uh, is the profit uh, from the daily profit from the sales of uh, the chewing tobacco measured in um, hundreds of dollars. So um, the break-even points now for the profit are going to be the sales amounts uh, that will uh, cause Perry to break even. Uh, in other words, these are the sales amounts that will not result in a loss for Perry, but then neither result uh, in a profit. Um, so uh, uh, break-even uh, uh, sales amounts correspond to a profit of uh, exactly zero. Uh, not a positive profit, but not a negative profit, which would be a loss. Um, so we can find uh, the break-even uh, uh, points uh, for this particular uh, profit function. We can find the break-even sales amount uh, for this particular item uh, simply by taking our profit function uh, formula, which in this case is a quadratic function, and uh, setting the profit in that formula uh, to zero. Notice that this is uh, the same as uh, finding the x-intercepts uh, for this uh, function because you find the x-intercepts uh, uh, of a function uh, by setting the outputs uh, from the function to uh, zero. So we're going to take our uh, profit function formula and set uh, the output to zero, set that formula to zero. And this results in an equation uh, that we uh, need to solve. So um, since this is a quadratic function, uh, uh, because the input uh, variable is squared uh, in this formula, uh, then the resulting equation we get by setting uh, the profit to zero, setting the formula to zero, is going to be a quadratic function. And so we have to uh, use our uh, knowledge of solving quadratic functions in order to solve uh, uh, this particular equation. And the solutions to this equation will be the break-even points uh, for the uh, daily profit. So we might try uh, solving this quadratic equation by uh, factoring um, the uh, right-hand side of this equation, but I'm not sure if that's possible. Uh, in this case, uh, I think it's probably going to be more efficient, uh, easier for us to use the quadratic formula uh, to solve this um, quadratic equation. So remember, uh, the quadratic formula is a formula you can use to generate the solutions to a quadratic equation. Uh, to use the quadratic formula, you need to know uh, the coefficients uh, of the equation, that is the leading coefficient, uh, which is uh, normally labeled A, uh, the coefficient of the unknown to the uh, first power term, uh, which is usually labeled B, and then the constant coefficient, uh, which is usually labeled uh, C. So in this example, our leading coefficient is going to be minus 2. Notice it's not 36, even though the uh, coefficient 36 is written first. The leading coefficient is minus 2 because that's the coefficient uh, of the um, unknown squared term uh, in the um, uh, equation. Uh, the b coefficient is going to be 36. Uh, that's the coefficient of the unknown to the first power term in the equation. And then the constant coefficient is going to be minus 2, uh, minus 22. So we can plug those three values into our quadratic formula. And that will generate uh, the solutions to uh, this equation. All right, so let's try doing that. Uh, so we know that the solutions to this equation, in other words, the break-even points uh, for this uh, uh, profit uh, will, will be, let's see, uh, minus B. So that's minus 36. And we have two possible break-even points because we have two possible solutions to this equation. One of them is going to be minus uh, 36 plus uh, this um, uh, uh, square root, which is 36 uh, squared minus uh, 4 times the leading coefficient, which is minus 2, times the uh, constant coefficient, which is minus 22. And then all of this divided by um, 2 times a minus 2, 2 times the leading coefficient. So there's one uh, break-even point, minus 36, plus the square root divided by um, uh, 2 times minus 2. And then the second break-even point is minus 36 minus uh, this uh, uh, square root. Uh, divided by the same uh, denominator. All right, let's try simplifying now um, uh, this expression 
uh, doing a little bit of this arithmetic to simplify this expression uh, by hand. So we have minus 36 uh, plus or minus. Again, that's how we get uh, the two solutions to the equation, the two uh, break-even points. Uh, 36 squared is, um, if you do that uh, calculation with your calculator, that turns out to be uh, 1,296. Uh, four, a minus 4 times a minus 2 uh, times a minus 22 is going to end up being minus uh, 176. And then all of this divided by 2 times a minus 2, which of course is uh, minus 4. So we get minus 36 uh, plus or minus the square root of 1120 uh, divided by uh, minus 4. Now you can continue simplifying this expression uh, by hand. It is possible uh, to simplify <laughs> by hand uh, the square root of 1120 uh, somewhat. Uh, 1120 is not a perfect square, so you're not going to be able to uh, simplify this completely. Uh, but you can continue simplifying this expression by hand. However, in this case, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and, and estimate uh, the um, uh, values for the two break-even points, the uh, values for the two solutions uh, to this equation uh, using a calculator and uh, to a couple of decimal places um, these two solutions turn out to be 17.37 uh, uh, is one of them and uh, then the other one is uh, 0 0.63 so I went ahead and uh, estimated uh, these two uh, values ahead of time uh, to a couple of decimal places uh, so you can do this also with your calculator this is what you'll get uh, approximately 17.37 and 0 0.63. Ah, so this tells us the sales amounts now uh, for um, uh, the daily sales amounts for Perry's tobacco uh, that will uh, uh, lead Perry to break even. In other words, uh, no profit, but also no loss. So um, one of those break even points is um, 17.37. Uh, uh, times 100, because remember, uh, we're measuring uh, the daily sales in hundreds of pounds of tobacco. So that would be um, approximately 1,737 pounds of tobacco will uh, cause Perry to break even um, on a daily basis, selling that much. And then the second break even point is uh, 0 0.63 uh, times 100, uh, which is um, 63. So if Perry sells either uh, 1,737 uh, pounds of tobacco um, per day, uh, he would break even. Or if he sold uh, 63 pounds of uh, tobacco uh, per day, um, he would also break even.